You know, brothers and sisters, we need to be educated in this regard. 1400 plus years ago, a man came to the Prophet ﷺ, and while he was walking into the masjid, the Prophet ﷺ took the initiative. He said, Ya Wabisa, that was the name of this companion. Didn't you come to inquire about halal and haram, lawful and unlawful, righteousness and sins? He said, oh yes, O oh Prophet of Allah. So he taught him what is ithm and what is bar. And when it came to the sin, he said, what well, you don't feel good about it in your heart? Even if people give you an okay fatwa and say, it's okay, we're in a different time. Everybody does it, man. Don't worry about it. You don't feel good about it. There is still some conscience in your heart. There is some goodness in your heart. Don't take it. Don't do it. Those people, look, look listen to what the Quran says. وَإِن تُطِعْ أَكْثَرَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يُضِلُّوكَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ If you were to obey most of the people on earth, they shall mislead you away from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be among the minority who are very keen to earn lawful and to spend in lawful means. And they don't care whether the whole crowd, the whole human beings are going down, going to hell. I don't care. I'm going. I know my way. I know halal and haram, especially when it comes to the earning. Look, this is a typical example, brothers and sisters. So the economy is based on riba. It is based on curse. Everyone who's dealing with riba is cursed and their business is cursed. And the lender and the founder and the borrower, the whole thing is cursed. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa whom you love, whom you follow said, لَعَنَ اللَّهُ الرِّبَا آكِلَهُ وَمُؤْكِلَهُ وَكَاتِبَهُ وَشَاهِدَيْهِ Again, لَعَنَ اللَّهُ الرِّبَا آكِلَهُ وَمُؤْكِلَهُ وَكَاتِبَهُ وَشَاهِدَيْهِ That's five things. Riba itself is cursed. And any transaction that entails riba is cursed and is void of any barakah. That's it. No success in it. Akilahu, the one who charges interest, who gives a loan, provided that he will collect it more. He's cursed. Wamukilahu, and the one who actually agrees to pay interest, and the matter was not, uh, you know, saving life or a matter of necessity. No, I just wanted to start a business. I wanted to change the car to a newer model, to move to a bigger house. It's not a matter of life saving. Katibahu. The accountant, the uh, secretary, the person who is writing the contract. Sometimes he may ask for a guarantor. If you agree and you witness such thing, you're cursed. Astaghfirullah. May Allah forgive us. So here the sister said, but they convinced that this is halal. I'll tell you when it becomes halal. It becomes halal when I say, Sarah, you know, I want to start a small bakery business. I have that much. Can you chip in with me? And uh, yeah, sure. How much do you want? I will give you the 100 grains. You know, here is the uh, investment proposal. And I assume that inshallah will be making monthly about five grains profit, net profit. MashaAllah. You're paying 5,000, uh, you're paying 100, and I'm paying 50. So your share will be double the share of my profit. Three to one. Then, since I will be running the show, I will be charging a salary, drawn salary that much. Beautiful. This is an agreement of murabaha and everybody is happy. But uh, the percentage of the profit is also met with the same percentage of the loss. So I started the business and it didn't work out. COVID happened. Natural disaster took place. The shop was burned down. Anything happened. So those who chipped in and they give me, they did not give me a loan. They give me money to be invested. So they are partners in the profit. And they are partners as well in the loss with the same percentage. But if I give you the money and I say, Sarah, give me the money, she says, Muhammad, here is my hundred grains. I don't care whether you lose, whether you make money. I need to take them and collect them a year later, 110. Wallahi, I swear to the Almighty Allah, I swear to the Almighty Allah, this is pure riba. 
Even if a grand mufti stood on the member said it's okay because this is an investment. Wallahi, this is not an investment. Wallahi, this is pure riba. And this is exactly what the Prophet sallallahu said, وَإِنْ أَفْتَاكَ النَّاسُ وَإِنْ أَفْتَاكَ Be careful. There will not be any profit, even if there is a temporary profit, but it will end up with a disaster, a curse, diseases, loss of the children, loss of properties, uh, deviation, no barakah, no happiness. Why? Riba is involved. There is no other sin in the Quran which have an equal punishment to dealing with riba. When Allah says, How could any sane Muslim assume that his business would prosper when Allah says, I declare war against you? My messenger declares war against you if you deal with riba. Huh? What do you think? When some Muslim scholars will pop up and say same-sex marriage is halal, would you say, he's a mufti, what can I do? You know what is right and what is wrong. 